This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. Hello everyone. I was asked to come check this map out. I had not seen it yet. What it is is the Morphed Integrated Microwave Imagery at CIMSS. It's Hurricane Sandy or Frankenstorm. It's from 1027 2012 to 1028 2012. I want you to look at this. This was when it was still uh, to the east of Florida and it was passing east northeasterly up the coast. Now I want you to take a look at this anomaly right here. This does not belong on the map. This shows different temperatures, cooling and warming, and, and it shows the movement of the cyclonic system. It shows the islands here, it shows Florida here, and the other states above Florida, but this anomaly concerns me. Uh, because in this area is just about where on the reflectivity map that I pointed out sonic undulation, sonic manipulation that was going on right at this area with Hurricane Sandy. Let's look at Venezuela. What is this? This is diabolical. They're even hitting Venezuela with infrasound. And look at all these right angle boxes. That is indication of infrasound. It's TTA, this is Tesla Tech Array infrasound. And the reason it's being used is to force that storm, force this system, or create a new system around Santa Domingo, San Juan area, and force that system with this system so as to make it look natural to steer it in the direction they want to steer it in. And if you'll look, if you'll pay close attention, if this is what I think it is, and what I think it is, is a singular polarity. This is the makings, the mechanical makings of a perpetual motion generator. It generates energy because of a singular polarity against either another opposite singular polarity or against a polarity that has the opposite side facing that polarity. That is the makings of a perpetual motion generator. So let's say this hot, red hot, let's say this red hot thing here is a positive polarity. In other words, it, its magnetism is positive. It has a positive charge to it. And this cyclonic energy is also a positive polarity. They would push against each other and that would cause this system to turn away from it. That's exactly how a perpetual motion generator works when it's generating energy or electricity. I also want you to notice that when this is taken away and Sandy loses energy, it was theorized that uh, just as she started to gain regain energy, these puffs of billowing smoke vapors that came out of her very near her eye were hot vapors. They were hot clouds, steamy clouds that were coming up out of it and being forced out of it. Well this is a temperature horizon polarization map. And heat shows up in red on this map. Okay? So we know that this little polarity here is red, so it's hot. And we know that it's causing this to become hot. It's agitating Sandy to, in her eye to become hot. When it lets go, she cools down. It's letting go, she's cooling down. 
but before she has any momentum, before she gathers momentum, there is no heat in that eye billowing up. I'm telling you, what we were seeing in those billows of smoke was chem dumps. To get her going again, the plane would fly over, deploy its chem dump, and then this polarity would start up again. This polarity would go down, making it safe for the airplane to go in, deploy its chem dump, and the polarity would be re-engaged, at which point she would gain momentum and the, the blowing of the uh, billowy clouds would look like heated clouds coming up when she regains her momentum. What's well, actually the opposite thing that's happening? She's being forced into momentum by a singularity, a singular polarity. And this is a negative polarity, or the, it's facing it with a negative polarity. It's causing it to turn around by being right there. And the form that this cyclonic action is taking is exactly the form that it would take if it was turning around because of this singular polarity. I want you to notice also, when this singularity is taken away, the cyclonic action loses momentum. Look at how it's beginning to slow down. Now this is Hurricane Sandy, okay? This is Hurricane Sandy, and she begins to slow down as the polarity is taken away. Once again, the polarity here is taken away, and Sandy slows down. I just wanted to point that out. It may be nothing, it may just be an anomaly on a uh, on a map. It may just be an anomaly on a morphed integrated microwave imagery map. I don't know, but looking at the mechanics of what happens when it's there and when it leaves, it tells me that it is actually having an effect on the motion there. And if that's the case, this is a polarity or a singularity. A polar singularity or a, a single polarity. And it, it's generating this momentum in Hurricane Sandy. There's the eye and here's the momentum in the cyclonic action around Sandy. Now I would like to show you the direction from which that singular polarity came. It came from the east-southeast direction from where Hurricane Sandy was, right in here. Right in here, and the polarity came from up here. Let me show you what's there. This is Arecibo Observatory. I mentioned this place in one of my other videos or two. It is a TTA. It's a Tesla Tech Array. It is capable of frequency of just about any range. It is one of the most enormous TTAs on the planet. It is capable of creating a massive polar singularity through frequency, through emitting frequency. This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. Thank you for watching everyone, and God bless you.